Hello everyone, welcome to another episode for learning how to fix SIM power supply switching. So let's get started. In this session of the tutorial, we intended to examine the switching circuit. In the previous tutorials, we became familiar with the VSB circuit and learned how to troubleshoot and repair this section. One of the most crucial parts of power supplies in the switching circuit and for this reason, this type of power supply is called switching power supplies. The switching section is designed in a way that if there is an anomaly in the power supply, it quickly shuts down uh, to prevent further issues. For instance, if there is a short circuit, if the voltage becomes too low or too high, or if a component burns out, this switching circuit rapidly turns off the power. Well, where is this switching circuit located in the power supply? And what components does it include? We will delve more into this shortly. But before that, it's better to become familiar with the signs of faults in the switching circuit. The first indication is that the power supply, despite having a standby power and 5 volts on a green wire, doesn't turn on. In previous tutorials, you learned uh, that power supply need to have power in the standby circuit or the purple wire and the green wire before turning on. If the purple wire doesn't have 5 volts, it means there is an issue with the standby circuit and it's not related to the switching section. When you connect the power supply to the test lamp and apply power, the test lamp lights up and uh, stays on. In this situation, if the diode bridge is sound, a component in the switching power supply section is likely burned out. Usually transistors in this section are the ones that burn out. Which transistors are these? The first and second transistors in the primary section. In the primary section, right uh, where the large capacitors are placed. The power supply turns on, but uh, when it's on, a continuous high-pitched whistling sound uh, is heard from inside the power supply. The power supply turns on, but after working for a while, it turns off by itself. So the switching circuit includes these uh, two transistors that you see here. The switching circuit starts from these capacitors onward. These uh, two capacitors are uh, known as startup capacitors as among the other components of the switching circuit. Diodes and resistors place around these capacitors and transistors are also part of the switching circuit. The cellular transformer placed here. Resistors and capacitors in this section are also part of the switching circuit. These two transistors are part of this circuit as well. This IC that you see is also part of the circuit. So in general, the switching circuit diagram looks like what you see here. Every component within this area belongs to the switching circuit and needs to be diagnosed and repaired in case of any issues. Okay, let's imagine uh, that we've connected the power. Let's see what happens from the moment we apply power. Initially, the power enters these capacitors. Then, branches are taken from these capacitors which connect to the transistors of the switching circuit and VSB. From the transistor of the VSB circuit, a voltage also reaches the IC. In this state, the green wire will have 5 volts. If the purple wire has 5 volts but the green wire doesn't, it means uh, the IC is faulty. This IC is one of the most crucial components in the switching circuit. It is also called the switching IC. This IC performs the switching and turning on of the power. That is, when you connect one of the green and black wires 
together this IC turns on uh, the circuit and initiates the start up of the power so when the power doesn't turn on and the grid wire doesn't provide 5 volts you just need to replace this IC because up to 90% of the issues are related to this IC in general if the grid wire doesn't have 5 volts there is a 100% chance that uh, this IC is faulty however if there is a 5 volts and the power doesn't turn on the problem isn't only with this IC and other factors need to be investigated in this case this IC accounts for 50% of the power IC's malfunction now when you connect the green wire to the one of the black wires or use the power tester to turn on the power this IC sends a signal to these two transistors these uh, two transistors are usually BJT transistor with the numbers like 1015 C945 or 1020 note that you shouldn't preserve these components based on uh, where they are placed for example these transistors might be located elsewhere around the IC these two transistors provide voltage to this uh, transformer pay attention to the arrow transistors provide a signal to this transformer in a uh, pulsating or on or off manner because uh, transformers work with AC power not DC so the purpose of these transistors here is to convert the electricity into an oscillating or AC form for the transformer to work then the transformer uh, conducts uh, the electrical power sinusoidally uh, to the gate or base pins of this transistors if the transistor is of the fed type it conducts uh, to gate pin when these transistor pins are activated the transistors apply voltage to this large transformer this transformer in turn is a large transformer and acts as the output and final transformer uh, creating the necessary output voltage usually having three output voltage these are 5 volts, 12 volts, and 3.3 volts. So, this transformer also provides voltage to Schottky diodes present here. In this way, our output voltages are generated. This is the overall function of the switching power circuit. One pin of this uh, large transformer is connected to ground which is connected uh, to a ceramic capacitor and uh, this capacitor is also connected to the circuit's ground the positive pin of the transformer is connected to the Schottky diodes present here to create our output voltage well in the next session uh, we will delve into troubleshooting the switching circuit and you will become more familiar with this circuit more so thank you for your attention and please give me a thumbs up and uh, that would be awesome and please introduce this channel and this video to who likes to learn about the electronics and how to uh, fix in uh, switching power supply so to the next video take care see you soon and bye bye